whenever you would require certain items and those items you raise the requisition first the requisitions will be created for the item that is required by the organization in the manufacturing a finished good always will be manufactured by assembling the raw materials of sub-assemblies to have those raw materials in the stock you have to purchase those raw materials similarly sub-assemblies so how do you receive those items from the supplier so company would require certain items and those items to be purchased from the supplier so before approaching to the supplier first of all what items do you require you have to mention in your requisition why because if i want some items if i feel some items are required for production department because let us say in the process of manufacturing somebody requires bearing and he requests the bearing request to the store is nothing but move order he raises the move order requesting a bearing but when i being a storekeeper i will try to transfer the bearing from my, my sub inventory to the requester sub inventory request is from production so production sub inventory i will transfer we know already inventory transaction you raise the move order we do the storekeeper will do the move order transfer through which the item will be transferred from one sub inventory to another sub inventory so when you raise the move order that is the request to the store when the request to the store being a storekeeper i received the approved move order i will check the material whether the item is existing in the store or not if the item is not existing what should i do being a storekeeper i should raise a requisition because stock is nil i should have the bearings in my store room in this process immediately what i do i will open this requisition requisition will be created for certain item but there is no the supplier is it's an optional field have you observed yellow fields are mandatory and white fields are optional when white fields and yellow fields yellow fields are mandatory keep in mind wherever you could see yellow fields those fields are mandatory white fields are optional always now if i want set an item i have to enter the item and every item comes under one particular category what is category it's very important point i discussed already as a part of concepts of inventory here the item is having what is the family and what is the class this combination this combination is called if you see go to combinations you can see all the combinations which are existing if you see family and class every item will be having a family and class this family and class you can have two segments here two segments one is family another one is class i can have third fair segment fourth segment that is depending on the segment structure that is called key flex field that is what we have system item flex fields and category flex fields we are going to discuss as a part of setup what is flex field how many segments we are going to decide for a category okay now here we have family and class so every item comes under one particular category if you are purchasing something every item should be defined in the system right cancel every item if you take any item for example i want to buy something first of all see the items i have this item okay now let us take one item oh let us say this is the item i want okay the moment you select the item there is a category if you see the list of values press control l this category is can you see 
this category is purchasing dot fac that means family dot class class is fac and this is family is purchasing item so 101 is an item code and that item code description is fiber clad okay this is the item and unit of measure which is defaulting from the item master if you see the item master we know how to defend the item when you defend this item this is the item code and category has been assigned and what are the category assigned in the item master and organization items that's what is getting defaulted here and description is this okay then unit of measure is each and how much quant I want I want let us say I want 104 items pricing get pricing is getting defaulted from the pricing is getting defaulted from the organization items in the purchasing tab we have list price that is very important it is interview question also sometimes somebody asks like this while entering the purchase order whenever you enter the cell you enter the item by default the price is getting defaulted from where it is getting defaulted it is nothing but list price that is there in the organization item it's not there in the master item field is there but you will not be entering in the master item it is with respect to the organization so organization item in the purchasing tab we have list price that list price is this is the price of the item okay then we have need by date so need by date by today or tomorrow or in the month end so it is what company requires storekeeper decides i want this item by weekend or so and so month end or tomorrow it's up to you so that's how we are going to mention i want by month end okay now i will enter all these items like i want second item you can enter the second item then for which organization it is required and from which organization you are going to raise this requisition i am from certain organization if you see so let me take this is the organization it's just like if you see vision instance you can see m1 settle manufacturing detroit d1 detroit organization so like that we have so you have certain organizations and here that organization you are going to select then you are going to have the locations okay the location what is the location of that particular organization okay you can see you can what are the location you want to define for this your organization those locations you you can able to see in the list of values so you have to select one of the one of those locations okay now after that the remaining fields are optional if you want to enter you can enter else leave it save the record first then it will generate a number then it will generate a number let us see so this is the number requisition when the requisition is created let us track on notepad This is the PR. We call it as PR. P purchase requisition. So this is the number. Now status is incomplete. The requisition has to be approved. The requisition value is six thousand nine hundred forty-three. Okay, if I approve now, preparer is my name. And whether this preparer can approve this requisition? Okay. Preparer. For every documentation, like purchase requisition is a document, quotation is a document, request for quotation is a document, purchase order is a document. 
purchase receipt is a document okay now if you want to approve this org this document being a preparer i should have the document total here the document total is 6943.04 this is the document total this much worth so i am the requester i can approve from my side but do i do i have the limit to approve this document if my limit of approval is 10 dollars or 100 dollars we cannot approve this is where the approval hierarchies will come into picture this is where okay this is where your approval limits will decide whether this document to be approved by you or your manager or the person who is having the limit more than this document total okay now I will try to approve before approving I will show you what else are required and which is very important as a part of interview because we have the item details and after that we have distributions the distribution it is very important the moment you save the account is getting defaulted what is this account this is called charge account this is what charge account that charge account is is nothing but destination account it is nothing but ultimately when you are receiving this item where you are keeping to which account should I charge we are trying to buy this item we are trying to buy this item for one purpose because somebody has requested right more order has been raised more order has been raised means somebody has requested so we are trying to create a requisition for the purpose of that particular guy who has raised the requisition by raising a move order if he is from production department if i am going to raise the requisition against that guy let us say that guy has raised move order it's very important to learn why because so nobody simply they create the requisition and for the requisition will be approved and requisition will be converted to PO purchase order and purchase order is the document will be sent to supplier and you receive the item and you pay the amount to the supplier okay just a minute
Yeah. Sorry. Like, sir, I got a call. So, I, important call. So, I attended the call. See, where we are. So, we are discussing charge account. It's very important. This is distribution account. This is distribution account, which is nothing but charge account. Whenever we are discussing purchasing, it is very important not to know about distribution account. This distribution is account is nothing but the charge account. Ultimately, item is reaching to whom? That person. That person is nothing but destination person. Like who is going to consume this material? That particular person account will be used here as a charge account so that whenever the purchasing purchase we are purchasing but payment payment will be paid by the payables department the payables department should charge you to should, should track the amount in a certain account where they will intimate to the finance department saying that i paid to supplier because i purchased this item for the purpose of one particular this account they will be charging ultimately there are credits and debits right ultimately you are giving the amount to the supplier that means you are debiting to the supplier crediting to whom somewhere i have to show against which purpose i bought this item that purpose is tracked by this charge this charge account if you press ctrl l it will show you which department that guy who has requested through move order might be from certain department so that department and that account is nothing but that person might be having one account that account is nothing but that is the account we have to enter product class if item is having a class and you are going to buy you want to track the class also then definitely it is okay so <clears throat> this charge account is nothing but the distribution account is nothing but it is indicating finally after receiving the item from purchase department after receiving the item from purchase department you have to charge to this respective account this is very important most of the people they will not be knowing the importance of distribution account simply because this is getting defaulted because there are accounting generators you know there is a workflow which works always to generate an account based on the category based on the item category and what kind of what kind of item you are buying based on that account generator will generate one particular account that account will be generated by default and without entering distribution account you cannot you cannot save the you can't save the requisition or you can't approve the requisition if this is mandatory field once it is entered and saved it is grayed out nobody can change now let us see if you say this 104 quantities are not against this distribution account somebody else is there then you have to split this into 100 let us say one person require 100 and another person required four items so you can split into 104 100 you can enter here four you can enter here and you can enter your own account here you can enter the different account this is how the distribution happens i told you purchasing will not happen against one particular organization for an entire you know for all the organizations we are going to buy in a console you know with a consolidated quantity and consolidated quantity will be distributed against each organization each branch so this charge account and it is one of course i entered only one one line so that's fine you can have two three third line fourth line fifth line in case this one or four to be split into five lines like 25 25 25 like that and last quantity is 29 yes all together again one or four why because 104 should this or total distribution line quantity should match with this quantity this line quantity because purchase order line quantity is one or four and the distribution should have multiple lines and each line should have some quantity and that total quantity should match with 104 only okay and this is what about the requisition like requisition you should know all these points now let me try to approve okay 
submit for approval. I am submitting. I am submitting by approving from my side. If I have the limit of more than 6000, whatever the document value is there, if it is more than that, 6943, then I will be able to approve. Else, it will go to somebody else. Somebody else means, as per approval hierarchy, who is the next person who can approve my document that has been sent by me. So definitely, see, let us see. If you select, for example, if you select forward, see, approval path, it is asking. Purchasing approval hierarchy, this is the approval hierarchy, okay? So in case there is no approver, for your name then this document cannot be approved and saying that you are not having the limit that is more than 6900 something which is document value but still you are not your system is unable to find your approver that means approval hierarchy is not having your name so that system cannot find your approver so let us see okay now submit for approval click ok What happens? Let us. Okay. You have taken the requisition number, right? Okay. Now. This is the requisition number. It is incomplete. Why? Because system is unable to find the approver. I have to see the approval hierarchy. Then I have to make sure my name is there in the approval hierarchy and somebody is there as an approver for my position because we have how many approval hierarchies? We have for requisition, for purchase orders, we have approval hierarchies, position hierarchy, we call it as, or employee supervisor hierarchy, or third one that is approval management engine that is called ame ame is nothing but approval management engine which is meant for only requisitions not for purchase orders for purchase orders and requisitions we have employee supervisor hierarchy and position hierarchy right now we are following on a hierarchy that is position hierarchy in which i have to make sure being an employee this employee will be assigned with a position that position should have somebody under which under one position and that position might be a supervisor position okay so it's not a person to person it is position here here we have to remember why can't we have person name if you are having person name as an approver that means employee supervisor hierarchy every employee will be having a supervisor and who is that supervisor there is a name and name to name if you are assigning that is called employee supervisor hierarchy in case you are not giving the importance to the name of the employee instead you are giving the importance to the position name that position name is called that position name is called organization position assigned to the hrms definition of the employee hrms definition in the sense Every employee should be defined in HRMS, right? Human resource management. There is a module. We are going to see. Now, let us see. It is very simple. If it is not approved, that means you are the preparer and you are not there in the hierarchy. So, system is unable to find who is the person, who is the what is the position of the person who can approve your document or you are not having the document, document limit. That is the reason it is not getting approved. If you are having the limit of approval, then definitely this document might have approved by this time. But it is not approved because system is looking for some supervisor who can approve this document. But there is no link to your supervisor. That means there is no hierarchy where this person, this preparer is existing in the hierarchy. So now let us see. I have taken this employee. Okay. So we will discuss employee hierarchies and position hierarchies in the separate class. Okay. First we will see the cycle. Requisition. 
once requisition is approved let us see let me discuss the procure to pay cycle today so requisition will be approved and after that that requisition should be converted as purchase orders how do you convert the requisitions to the purchase order that means a requisition should be converted purchase order means purchase order should be sent to supplier means supplier will receive the purchase order and the received purchase order will be having the item information supplier is going to supply the items based on the purchase orders then we are going to pay against that before rising the purchase order a requisition lines to be approved then before going to purchase order one should know whether that item already purchased from supplier some some suppliers previously whether this organization has purchased these items from any supplier earlier if this is the first time you are purchasing if you are first time purchasing then you should rise you should negotiate you, you should negotiate with multiple suppliers in order to decide the best supplier it's very simple you raise some requisition simply purchase department will not raise the purchase order why because whether this item already purchased from any supplier earlier if yes simply call that supplier and raise the purchase order and send it enough but if this is the first time you are purchasing then because i don't know the supplier who is the best supplier for this item then i have to explore i have to get multiple suppliers i have to send the request for quotation against the item then we get multiple quotations from the supplier to compare to decide the best supplier who is supplying the best price so in this process what i have to do is i have to raise the purchase order provided if you know the supplier if you don't know the supplier then you have to go ahead with you have to go ahead with request for quotation there is no other go okay now let us say requisition has been approved then how to convert requisition to the request for quotation it's very simple requisition summary i am going to requisition summary first of all i want to see the requisition which are approved okay now find i want to see the requisition which are approved first requisition which are approved first then for those requisitions i will try to create request for quotation as a part of negotiation why do you require negotiation to decide the best supplier if i do the negotiation with multiple suppliers i will come to know all the prices from multiple suppliers and which supplier is having the best price that's it you take that price best price you take that best price then with with respect to that supplier you have to raise the purchase order it's very simple so let us see the requisitions which are approved which are awaiting for purchasing then let us think that there is no earlier purchaser we purchase orders we raise for those items so i have to start with negotiation how do you raise the negotiations negotiation documents are nothing but request for quotation and quotations it's a very important question what is negotiation what are the documents related to the, related to the negotiations it's very important question the question is what is negotiation and what are the documents related to the negotiations request for quotation and quotations what is request for quotation simply i have given an example laptop you might have required you know you might be requiring your personal laptop you want to purchase you know the configuration and everything that is called requisition you have the requirement now now you are going to the multiple suppliers and you are going to one supplier 
and asking for the price. After getting the price details, are you going to buy immediately? No, you will go to the next shop. And you do the same negotiation again. He will give some other information with another price. So like that, you will go to four, five suppliers to get the four, five quotations from each supplier, which is stating the price of item if you buy from them and with terms and conditions. And what are the terms and conditions which are suitable for you? Where you feel it is comfort for you. If you are feeling comfortable with the price and everything and you are satisfied with the warranty service that has been given by one particular vendor, then you are confirming that. If you are confirming that means you are raising a purchase order with respect to that supplier. When you know the supplier, you are going to raise the purchase order. We don't know the supplier. That means you are in the process of negotiation. When you are negotiating, you are asking something for the supplier. You are asking the same thing that is what you are mentioning in the request for quotation. That is the re reason request for quotation is, is the one document will be sent to multiple suppliers. You are going to first shop, second shop, third shop, fourth shop. But you are asking the same thing that is there in the request for quotation. Request for quotation is only one. But from each supplier you are getting the quotation. That means multiple documents are coming from multiple suppliers. So those are called quotations 1, quotation 2, quotation 3, quotation 4 from each supplier. So that means you are having multiple quotations again is the same RFQ. When you are having multiple quotations again is the same RFQ. You have the quotations to be compared. Now you have the quotations to be compared. When you have quotations to be compared, you have to do the quote analysis, which is meant for quote analysis. Okay, it is taking too much time. Okay, simply I should have entered something, some filter, because when you search simply without entering the data, system will fetch the data from all the tables and you know whatever the requisitions have been created till now because which is having a lengthy list so it, it has to find out so it will fetch the data it takes time so basically if you enter the filter if you enter filter criteria then definitely you can get the data as well as possible now we are writing the request for quotation sorry requisition first and it has to be approved once the requisition is approved it is going for request for quotation why? Because we don't know the price of the item or who is the best supplier, we don't know. Then when you don't know something, then you have to go for negotiation. When you are going for negotiation, it is your duty to raise the request for quotation from the requisition. Request for quotation is only one. That's what you are printing and sending to the multiple suppliers. But multiple suppliers will reply with their price, right? That is what quotation meant for each supplier. You are getting multiple quotations again is the same RFQ. Then you are going to compare all those quotations to decide the best quotation, to decide the best supplier. So then to decide the best supplier, to decide the best supplier, I have to do the quote analysis. When you go for quote analysis, you should have multiple quotations. When you want multiple quotations, you should have a request for quotation. When you request for quotations, then only you will receive the quotations. When you receive the multiple quotations, then only you can compare. When you compare, then only you can decide the best supplier. When you decide with the supplier, then you raise the purchase order. So to raise the purchase order, you should have a requisition. You should have the request for quotation. You should have the quote analysis. And after that, only you can decide the best supplier. When you decided with the best supplier, then you can go for purchasing by raising a purchase order with respect to your requisition. Okay, so once purchase order has been raised, it is your duty. Who can raise the purchase order? The simple question is the first question. Whenever you are expert in a purchasing, then it is the first question. Who can buy the item? A buyer can buy the item. Only buyer can raise the purchase order. Not everybody. The person who is creating a requisition can create a purchase order. No, it's wrong. Any person can create a requisition, but only buyer can create a purchase order. Buyer can create any document, but a requester cannot create purchase order. For creating a purchase order, you should be a buyer. 
if you are a buyer you can go ahead with the purchasing when you create a purchase order that means a purchase order should have the supplier information then what are the items you would require those item information should be there and purchase order should talk about consolidated quantities means what you might be having multiple branches across the locations but what are the branches you know multiple branches across the locations what is the requirement of each branch compare and get all the consolidated quantity then for that quantity you have to raise the purchase order if one branch require 25 another branch require 50 another branch require 25 totally 100 100 is the consolidated quantity should be entered in the purchase order line quantity whereas you have shipments one branch would require 25 another branch 50 another branch 25 means three lines should be there those three lines are called shipments because each shipment talks about respective location and those locations are different for three organizations one one branch is existing in one location let us say tech city another location is something else patan so like that we have so each branch is having some requirement so so we got the list of requisitions here let me take one requisition this is the requisition which has been approved now <clears throat> when this requisition has been approved you can take this requisitions okay let me take one requisition number okay now auto create there is a function auto create clear okay now I guess one requisition I'm going to create this is the requisition okay or simply you can do one thing any requisition which is therefore see these are the requisitions okay now I want to select this requisition and this requisition you can have multiple requisitions also if you want one requisition because items are different I want different RFQs because these all items are not supplied by same supplier but each item will be supplied by different items so let us different suppliers let us say I want this requisition see action create document type you can create standard PO plant PO blanket release RFQ auction or sold in RFQ it is very simple what are these documents these are all document types of purchasing whereas I'm going to create request for quotation I said if I'm going to raise the purchase order that means you know the supplier because I know I don't know the supplier I'm going for request for quotation first I have to create a request for quotation click automatic okay create when you create it will create a RFQ RFQ number is this 5000 and it is in process immediately change the RF, RFQ to add to okay now then RFQ always talks about this information due date description what kind of RFQ it is quote approval requires because RFQ should be having a quotation right quotation should be coming from supplier because based on the your request for quotation so immediately these are all optional fields optional fields you can forget but mandatory fields you have to enter make sure whenever the status by default for RFQ is in process you have to change it to act to don't forget now your item has been copied from the requisition now price breakup what is price breakup it's a very important concept 
price breakup always talks about you are buying an item from supplier that item will be having a price from supplier point of view what is the price of the item supplier is going to give but before that because you don't know the supplier price you are requesting for quotation to the supplier you should have some details what details i am buying one item then what would be the price if you are buying one laptop the price is let us say three thousand dollars i am buying 100 laptops then the three thousand becomes two thousand also sometimes two thousand five hundred also do you agree because you are buying bulk means you, have, you would expect some discount so this is what price breakup price breakup is very important question what is price breakup in purchasing price breakup is nothing but when i buy something some item with certain quantity there is a price with increased quantity something else again the you know the discount percentage will be increased the moment you increase the quantity of the items that you are going to purchase from the supplier okay now it's very simple i will show you go to price breakup i requested 127 items the price is 0 0.01 dollar okay now second line i buy one thousand items for the organization okay now i would expect a discount of if the price is let us say five dollars okay here also five dollars now see 127 each price each item price is five dollars whereas thousand items shall i buy at five dollars definitely when i buy bulk items more number of items i would expect some discount what i'm expecting five percent discount i'm expecting when i enter five the moment you okay the moment you press tab because it is calculated based on 0 0.1 because the price that was defaulted as this is the one right so the price is 0 0.01 actually that is coming from the list price so when i entered five that five percent discount has been given and calculated this exactly if you calculate five percent of this price it is equivalent to this it is very simple 100 becomes 95 if you give five percent discount it is 0 0.0001 so that is getting 0 0.0095 okay this is what when i buy the same item with a quantity of 2000 then i would expect a discount of 10 percent this is all negotiations that's it how many items you want to buy and how much percentage of discount you are expecting that's what we are going to enter here this is what the price breakup save it over now then you are raising a request for quotation you are requesting a quotation with respect to a supplier then where is your supplier there is a supplier button so here you are going to sell at the supplier one supplier two with how many suppliers you are going to request the information okay i want to sell the first supplier and second supplier okay now this is the first supplier this is the second supplier now how many suppliers should i select like this with how many suppliers you are 
negotiating those many suppliers you have to select one by one but this item belongs to some set of items to be supplied by some set of suppliers those you know set of suppliers will be defined in one particular list and that list will be available here add from list if you click here okay there is no list actually what happens all the computer items i'll be buying from dell all the electrical items i will be buying from ge so that means ge similar sim ge and ge similar companies like similar companies of you know ge electrical companies those companies will be arranged in one particular list will be named with a list electrical suppliers or computer suppliers or chemical suppliers or fireworks suppliers like that we will have a group name and over all the suppliers supplying the same kind of item you will add to that particular group and that group name is nothing but supplier list it is very important question what is supplier list supplier list is nothing but the set of all the suppliers who are similar to the so we are similar in the in their business okay those suppliers is are going to be formed with a group and that group will be given with a name that name is called supplier list simply whenever you want computer battery or whatever it may be you will start from the computer peripheral supplier then that list might be having 10 suppliers of computer those 10 suppliers will be selected in one shot here 10 suppliers will be selected in one shot right now you have selected two let me see close it this is the request for quotation which is active now i have to take a print of this document okay copy document because i'm going to print this document how to print there is a report for this go to view request submit new request click ok view request now rfq right okay printed rfq xml report it is the excel report it is action required report i want xml report okay report type all or changed or new i have created new rfq right new rfq number it is 5000 submit no fine refresh let it refresh it will take some time to complete now i'm going to now two supplies i've selected that means you are expecting two quotations right Let's copy document action enter rfq yes type standard quotation supplier if you see two suppliers are coming how because you have selected in the rfq two suppliers only only those suppliers you can raise the quotation right you will receive the quotation from those suppliers only why because you send the rfq to those suppliers only click ok a new quotation has been copied from the rfq the quotation document number is 4000 let us open that 4000 this is quotation it is in process it is as same as rfq but the only thing is confirmation of the price is done okay active now go to the price of the item let us say it is not 0.01 it is 0.25 save the record If you go to price breakups say and these price breakups you are going to confirm he has not agreed for he agreed for what is the price 0 0.05 right 0 0.25 sorry 25 
saved then you enter 0 0.25 0 0.25 save and the percentage is if you enter let us say supplier has confirmed it's not when you buy thousand it's not 0.25 it is let us say 0.15 okay means what it is 40 percent discount see either you know this or this anyway either way the system will be calculating the price if you enter now here it is giving is giving 50 percent discount see that's nothing but this either way it is going to calculate so let us say supplier has confirmed this here for this first line there is no 127 there is no discount at all okay close it save it you saved and this document would require approval see uh, sorry. Sorry, uh, sir, the third line like the automation was missing like, no issues now all orders reason i'm approving this quotation because supplier is sending this supplier will send all the quality items only okay if you want to have any comments you can enter simple live lines have been approved okay save one quote is four thousand and five thousand is the rfq okay now this quotation is made already fine now coming back to rfq now let us say I received the second quotation from second supplier. Now how to create second quotation? Same tools copy document action enter RFQ type standard quotation supplier. I have selected already first supplier now second supplier. I got the quotation from second supplier. Click OK. New quotation has been copied. 4001 is the one. So new quotation is 4000. One is the quotation. Two. Okay. Now change the status to active. Come down. Update the price. We didn't agree for point zero one. We agreed for let us say point three. Okay. Now save it. Price breakups. Here. We didn't agree 0 0.01 it is 0.3 enter it is 0 0.3 or 0 0.3 because discount is nothing save it let us say that he agreed for thousand items he agreed for 50 percent discount for 2000 items he agreed for 55 percent okay see there is a change in price it is calculating now approve all orders yes reason quality best quality that is the reason price is more click ok approved now we got two quotations against one rfq what is that rfq 5000 copy that now close this now you have quotations rfqs requisitions now we have rfqs quotations then quote analysis which is meant for comparing the quotations that you got from the supplier go to quote analysis clear which document is common for all it is very simple RFQ against same RFQ you have raised multiple quotations. So what is the RFQ number? This is what right press tab find When you find you can see multiple lines Why did you get? Six lines. Do you know that? I have two quotations But each line is having three three price breakups. Do you remember? Did you remember? 
So, one quotation is having three press backups. Yep, six lines are there. Two quotations, two multiplied by three because price breakup is talking about three lines. One is 127 quantity, another one is 1000 quantity, another one is 2000 quantity. So, all these lines are coming here. Okay, simple. And with all the discounts that is there at the price breakups, everything is there. That's it. This is what quantity. This is what we discussed already. So, that's it. So, this is what quotation. Remember, three lines why we are getting. It is all depending on the price breakups. Do the quote analysis. How to do the quote analysis? Compare. You compare and approve enter quotations. So whatever the quotation you want to approve. How to do the comparison? It's very simple. You can export it to Excel. Go to File, Export. Save. Open. See? Okay, this is what all the quotation information. You can take a print or you can compare like this. You can de delete whatever the columns you don't want. Okay, this data is not existing. So let us delete this. So you can do all the rework here. And there you can rework. And finally, Okay, this is what the quote analysis, simple. We compare which one is the best price. Having the, this quantity and there is a price and which, is, which one is having a less price, we can decide who is the supplier. Then this is how we are going to decide the best supplier. So today's class, it's all about requisition, raising a requisition getting approval then what are the requisition which has been approved based on the requisition you can create auto create from that requisition okay you are going to find the requisitions you by entering the requisition number then you are selecting which requisition you want to convert to request for quotation you can select you can go to actions and create and the document type you are creating is rfq click on rfq then automatic then that will create a, an RFQ. Based on the RFQ, you can open your RFQ by with the number. Then based on the, after opening the RFQs, you can go to RFQ. If you know the RFQ number, simply 5000 is the RFQ number. Control F11. Simply if you want to create a document, copy document and create what kind of document quotation, you can create n number of quotations. In case you are sending this RFQ to multiple suppliers, we have already run the report. That report we are going to take a print and you can send those. Okay, this print, the output. That output we might have got here. Okay. Some error is there due to which the report is not opening here. Okay, otherwise it will open. So what happens? This request for quotation, you will take print. Then you will send through courier or an email or a soft copy. You will attach through email and send it to the respective supplier. And supplier will supply. The supplier will send the quotation in reply to that. So when you receive the supplier quotation, you are going to prepare the quotation one and quotation two against the same RFQ by creating the document from tools, copy document, and create whatever the price he has confirmed. So then those quotations are available for comparison in the quote analysis export it get it compared then decide the best supplier when supplier is best decided supplier has been decided then you can raise the purchase order how to raise the purchase order we will see tomorrow okay that's it for today you have any questions